Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat thinks he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not bring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. It's no good, love. I can't mend the water pipe. Oh, no. This leak is getting worse and worse. I think it's great. I'm going to call Ted. Perhaps he can fix it. There, the Ted Glenn fully automated get you up machine. I'll never sleep through my alarm again. <laughs> Marvellous. Hey, oh, who's that? Hello. Ted, it's Pat. Oh. Oh. Uh, we've got a burst water pipe. Don't worry, I'll be over straight away. Don't worry, love. If anybody can fix this, Ted can. I think it's fun. I like having breakfast in the rain. That's the water turned off, but it's a big job, I'm afraid. It'll take a while to mend. Oh, dear. What are we going to do in the meantime? Well, we can't stay here. Not with the water off. And everything soaking wet. We could go and stay with my sister in Pencaster, I suppose. But what about school? And delivering the post. Well, uh, you could always come and stay with me. Wow! Can we, Mum? Well, we... we... don't want to trouble you. Oh, please, please, please. It would be so cool to stay at the water mill. Hmm. Mm. Now then, Pat can have the hammock. Sarah can have the couch. And I'll have the camp bed. What about you, Ted? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll bed down in one of the outhouses. Now then... What does this do, Ted? That? Uh, it's one of my new inventions, the Ted Glenn Fully Mechanised Auto Cat Basket. Wow! How does it work? First you put your cat in. Meow! <coughs> like so. Then you decide what time you want him to get up in the morning. And off you go. Um, perhaps it needs a bit more work. Shall we get some firewood in? Uh, no. 
It's very good of you to put us up like this, Ted. That's all right, Pat. I can do with the company. It must get a bit lonely up here all on your own. I can't complain. I've got the mill and all my inventions to keep me busy. The Ted Glenn Fully Automated Cooking Machine. First, place the sausages in the frying pan. Next, take the beans. Ah, right, now you... Hang on. What's happened to the sausages? I definitely put them in. Oh, well. Now for the eggs. Mum! Look out! Oh. Hello, you two. How are you getting on with my cooking machine? Oh, dear. No, not any more, love, no. Sorry. It's just, well, I hate to sound ungrateful, but I'm not too keen on Ted's funny inventions. Uh, I know what you mean, love. Still, at least we're safe in bed. They can't get to us here. Oh, what? What's happening? <laughs> oh! Oof. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't realise how much I'd miss my own hammock. Morning, Ted. I got up early to do a bit of a spring clean. What do you think? Uh, I... well, I... I uh... <sighs> Morning, Ted. Uh. Morning, Pat. Y you all right? It didn't get much sleep last night. Him and me both. Oh, your get-you-up machine kept getting me up. Every five minutes. Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Right. Who's next in line for the bathroom? Oh, thanks, Sarah. I'll just... Me! <sighs> oh, dear. <sighs> Sorry, Jess, I didn't see you there. I'm not used to all this company. Hello, Charlie. Come to see Julian. Um, yeah, that's right. I heard you were staying here. Oh, you're so lucky. All these inventions and, and, and machines. We're going to start Ted's new washing machine invention in a minute, Charlie. Wow! You can stay and watch if you like. Oh! Thanks, Mrs Clifton. Right, that's the clothes. What now? We fill her up. Pat, if you can hang that bucket on that hook. Right you are, Ted. Doing the washing could be such fun. Here she comes. Just guide her in now. That's grand. Right then, I'll get off and fix that pipe of yours. Okay, Ted, thanks. Bye. Meow. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Ted. I hear you got company down at the water mill. That's right. It's not going too well, though. Why's that, Ted? I don't know. I suppose I'm just not used to having other folk around. 
You've been living on your own too long, Ted. And that's the way I like it, I'm afraid. So the sooner I get Pat's house fixed up, the better. Right, that's all the water. Now for the soap. Oh, I do hope we can go home soon, Pat. I've seen enough of Ted's inventions to last me a lifetime. Mind your backs, please. Inventors coming through. What are you two up to? We're, we're making an invention, Mr Clifton. Just like one of Ted's. Replace damaged pipe, men ceiling, repaint. Sounds like a big job, Ted. I'll give you a hand if you like. I'm off duty in a few minutes. Thanks, Arthur. It'll still take time. Pity we can't get a third man. Hello. If you need a job done, call him up. He's the one. Find the workshop and then you'll get help from Ted Glenn. Let's get help from Ted Glenn. Stay here one moment longer. Just look at your trousers. But what about our invention? We haven't finished it yet. I'm sorry, Julian, but Mum's right. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Where are you going? To tell Ted we're leaving. There. All done. Nice work, lads. Oh. What's up, Ted? I thought you were looking forward to having your place to yourself again. I am. I'm just worried about Pat and Sarah. They're going to be so disappointed when they hear they've got to move out. They seem to be enjoying living at my house. Hello? That'll be Pat. Oh, heck. Hello, everyone. My, you've done a grand job. Oh, you can move back in straight away. Wow, Ted. That's absolutely fan... I, I mean, that's great, Ted. You must have worked very hard, all of you. You're not too disappointed. No, no, I'm, I'm very grateful. But what about you, Ted? Won't you be lonely without us around? Mm, don't you worry about me, but uh, I'll be OK. Come on, then. Let's go and give Sarah the news. What? Oh, but that's... <coughs> um, very disappointing that we have to leave Ted's wonderful house. But we'll be glad to go home, of course. Can't we stay a bit longer, please? No. <sighs> Ted's put up with us for quite long enough, Julian. But, but, we, we, we've just finished his, his present. What? They've been working on it all day. It's to say thank you for having us. Ta-da! It's an invention, Ted. Like one of yours. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what to say. What does it do, Charlie? It it controls all the other machines in the place. What? Ted. I'm so sorry. We'll tidy up before we go. No, no, you're all right. I like it like this, actually. It feels more like... Uh, more like home. Hey. Yeah. 